What's up guys? Welcome to Dirt and Iron. Today I'm gonna show you what I think is the best way to spend five dollars on your dirt bike. So skip that next trip to your favorite coffee shop, keep five dollars, get on eBay and buy one of these. This is an hour meter for your dirt bike. It uh, tracks hours of your engine. So it's very easy to stay on the top of your maintenance. You know how many hours you have on your engine, you can do your oil change every six hours, then you can do your valves, you can do your top end, you know exactly how many hours you have on your engine. This one was $5 shipped from China. It took about three weeks to get it. Now you can get the same product that is US stock for about $15 or you can pay 35 for what I think is the same product. The only difference is the logo on the top. I've seen exactly the same product for $35 with some letters on the top. So do yourself a favor, don't waste 30 bucks, keep them for something else, spend $5 to get it cheap from China, it will come in three weeks. So the meter comes with two little screws and they will tell you to drill two holes to mount this thing. Please don't do that. You can accomplish exactly the same thing with a double side tape, a couple cable ties. Let me show you how. I already have our meter on my RMZ and I installed it a uh, long time ago. And I just want to show you how I did it and uh, show you all the steps. Uh, you can take this shroud off. This is my hour meter, wire comes right here. There is a double side tape that I put on the frame and on the hour meter. And this thing is this thing is here, it's going nowhere. This thing doesn't even move. So I would never drill that beautiful aluminum frame just to mount this thing that I bought for five dollars. And I think you shouldn't do it as well. Anyway, it's your call. So this is the way how I mount it. Our meter is already on a dirt bike, but I'm gonna show you how to put it on. You need to get your pickup wire that comes in the package and just install it uh, on the spark plug wire. This is the wire that goes from your coil to your spark plug. This is usually the same size. It's a little bit different than this, but we can use this as an example. So take it, give it about an inch, just go four or five times around. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, just like that. Uh, let's do one more. Now hold it tight, keep the pressure in there. Keep the pressure on both ends. Now bring your, bring your strap. Pretty much just strap it together. Push it through. You make sure you don't look, lose the tension in there. There you go. Push it, bring it together as close as possible. Tie it up. There you go. So this is this is how it's supposed to look installed. If you have it like this, 100% you are going to pick up the signal. So this thing will pick up a signal from your spark wire, spark plug wire, and it will let the uh, hour meter know that the engine is running, and it will track your hours. All right, so this thing is installed. I'm gonna show you how it looks on the other side, so you know exactly. I'm gonna cut it, show it to you. Oh, install it. This thing is really there. All right. So you see, this is a pickup wire. Just simply push it in. Just like this. Trace your wire somehow that is not touching anything hot. Usually very simple. Give it a little bit of play so it's not super tight. This is how I want to have it. Go ahead and push it in. Just 
just like that. You can use a screwdriver or something else to just you know, push it till the end. Just like that. Yep, that's pretty much it. Put the bag on the bike. Strap it. Now, you can see there is a little hour here. It's kind of symbol. Once you start the bike, this thing will start uh, blinking. That means that uh, it's picking up the signal. But for this one, it also shows the RPM. So once you start the bike, you will see some number here. It doesn't show exactly the good uh, good RPM. This this one shows uh, like 500 when it's idle. That that's not true. But anyway, uh, I would never use this for RPM. I only need this to track my hours. So it's doing what it's supposed to. So once the wire is installed, start the bike and see if everything if. It's picking up the signal. You can see I'm picking up signal, there's RPM. So that's it. Now you can track your hours. That's all you need to track your hours. There's a link below in the description to Amazon and eBay. You can buy these things for $5. I'll also include the link for $15 which is US stack you can get that in a couple days I believe and uh, definitely recommend to install Armeter on your bike if you guys like it please give me thumbs up subscribe to my channel more tips and reviews coming and uh, I'll see you later and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated